We told you about this scoop before the break, everybody. J.P. Morgan's head of commodities and currencies, Blythe Masters, telling her staff, quote, not to panic over a brutal first half of the year in which the bank lost key employees, fired some others, and missed targets in its client business. Bloomberg's Don Capecchi broke the story. She is with us now right here. Don, great scoop. Congratulations. Uh, let's bring up one of these extraordinary quotes from this conference call. Don't panic. No one's going to get screwed. No messing around with compensation. Uh, yeah. Let me ask you this question right off the top. What on earth is Blythe Masters worried about? Um, I think she's worried about people leaving. Um, there are a couple of key people in the physical oil department that they wanted to get in the RBS Sempra deal that left. Um, I don't know if they don't, didn't like the merger or the terms and conditions, but anyway, they left. They went to smaller competitors. She had actually been a bit dismissive about why they left. She said they went to thinly capitalized companies. She said, which is fine right now when oil's at like $70 a barrel, but once it hits 150 well, then, you know, who knows what's going to happen to their jobs. And, and those, so those questions cut to the heart of J.P. Morgan's strategy. The whole idea, right, is that this is a big, solid bank able yes. to acquire businesses like Sempra from RBS. Yes. People are supposed to want to stay there. Yeah, yeah, they, they're supposed to want to stay there. She said that they're getting, you know, you know, lots of resumes that are that are flowing in now as they're looking for replacements at people who are going to want to work there, who feel that the, the platform is a winning platform. It was very much um, a pep talk to her staff as well as uh, we did, we really did screw up, but I want you to know that I accepted re full responsibility for this. I am there for you and you need to know that Jess Staley and, and Jamie Dimon are there for me as well. They gave me their support. So it was a pep talk, a don't do this again. We got overexposed, we got squeezed, and this is where we are now. Let's bring up that quote, we got squeezed. We made a rookie error. We yes. made ourselves vulnerable to a squeeze. You yeah. talk about this being a pep talk. At the same time, can we detect a hint of desperation perhaps here as well? Well, I, I let you read the quotes and see what how you would characterize it. But, um, but she definitely said don't panic uh, quite a number of times. She definitely was telling people everything's just fine. Don't worry. Everything's fine. We lost a ton of money. I'm answering to the board. I'm in meetings with Jamie Dimon. I'm in meetings in Jess, with Jess Daly. But everything's fine. So don't you worry. I've got your back. And, and I got a sense of loyalty from her and her staff. There were quite a, t a few times where they all laughed at her jokes and, you know, there, there seems to be a lot of camaraderie, but there's a, a bit of worry. Well, worry, no doubt, because J.P. Morgan initially made a big effort to get into the energy business. Yeah. Then it got the commodities business from yes. Bear Stearns. Now it did this RBS Semper deal. Yeah. It's supposed to be a source of strength for the bank. It, or can, can we can we assume from what we're saying that she believes money will solve all wounds? Yes, yeah, and they do. she does believe it is a source of strength. I mean, it is her baby. It's her business. She's built this, you know, basically from the ground up. Um, they didn't have a lot of the capabilities they have now. She had talked about missed opportunities during the financial crisis and the oil crisis, where Morgan Stanley, it was just a matter of ringing the cash machine and revenues were flowing in, but for them, they didn't have a lot of the capabilities, and so she does view this as a source of strength for the bank. Don, it's great to have you here. It's a fantastic scoop. Read about it on Bloomberg.com, everybody.